Hey, welcome to the vlog. And today's topic is exploring sexuality within a monogamous relationship. My name is Priestess Vanessa and I am a professional tantric girl. And what that means is I am someone who is professionally, but also very much personally, interested in the path of Tantra and it's all of its capacity and sacred sexuality and conscious relationships and all of that mm, delicious, beautiful connectedness of self and others and stuff and stuff. <laughs> so another, so today, yes, it's exploring sexuality within a more negative relationship. Now, if you've followed me for a little while, even if you haven't, and this is your first video with me, I'm going to be up front with you right now. I'm not. I'm not monogamous. I'm non-monogamous. I am a serial uh, solo polyamorous person. And that means I have multiple intimate relationships. Right now, I've only got two, two men. I, I'm currently exploring the NRE, new relationship energy <laughs> with one man. Uh, and I'm using that to enhance and the reason why I'm in uh, this sort of situation is because I know how this new relationship energy, NRE, um, can enhance my current relationship with someone else. And it's no jealousy for me. The two partners do not know each other. They are the only common, common element. Now, okay, we've got that out of the way. Got that out of the way so you know where I'm coming from. But at the same time, before this, I was very monogamous. And you're probably all like, so how can you help me, if you're a poly person and you're into poly and stuff, how can you help with monogamy? Remember when I said I was a serial solely polyamorist? Now a serial polyamorous person is someone who needs to work on one relationship and be in that relationship 100% before they feel okay with exploring for another relationship. They build those foundations with that relationship so that the next relationship rocks the first one, if you know what I mean. Like there's, it's a good solid foundation on that relationship so I can build a good solid foundation in other relationships and it works, basically. So because I'm serial poly, I am monogamous for a period. I am actually monogamous for a period. One relationship only. I usually start with one primary relationship. And so I am monogamous to a certain extent. So that's how I can understand monogamy. And I also understand it because I wasn't always poly. This is something I grew into. And for some people it's a phase. And that's totally okay. But this for me, it's definitely a lifestyle choice. Definitely a way for me of being with my intimate relationships but for other people it's not. So first we've got to explore that. First you've got to explore the, your monogamy and that you are definitely truly 100% in and of yourself, both you and your partner, true for being in a monogamous relationship. I'm going to put that out there. So this is to, de to develop your sexuality within a monogamous relationship, you have to both choose a monogamous relationship. Both of you. You can't have an open relationship, and I say in quotation marks, if only one end is open, but the other person's monogamous within the other person's open. It's, I've done that, won't work. Won't work. It, it's just, yeah. I just, it has to be really a, be a certain type of relationship type people to really for that to work where one person is polyamorous and the other person's monogamous to that polyamorous person. It's it's a different dynamic. It's a whole other whew, video for another day. But this one, we're first to explore sexuality within a monogamous relationship. You have to see with the relationship. Are you really truly wanting to be monogamous? Because there's so many different types of love relationships and different types of polyamory out there. And even what's called um, being like what I call a fan in a fancy land monog uh, polyamory. I, what that means is you're in a monogamous relationship. There's just you. And I'm going to, for the purposes of this video, be heteronormative. And what that means is man, woman. I do understand 
monogamy can exist in lesbian relationships and gay relationships and all this sort of stuff. However, for just these purposes, I'm going to do man woman, okay? And I can understand that there's such a diverse range of relationships you can have within monogamy. There can be actually a really diverse range. You can have where one partner is monogamous and the other partner every now and again explores, like I said, the open relationship thing there. You can have monogamous, one partner's monogamous and the other partner cheats. Or it could be actually um, consensual cheating, what I call consensual cheating, where the monogamous partner, the one that's connected to the one cheating, uh, basically knows that's happening but really choose to not really care so sort of deal. Uh, they allow it, they're like, yeah, they're in denial, they just, they have chosen that. They're not, you know, but anyway, there's that. And then there's, of course, the monogamy, where the people are monogamous, and you bring in other people and experiences into your monogamous relationship, but <clears throat> generally, forgive me, but generally speaking, you're still you and the other person. It's still you and him, or him and her. You know, or her and her and him and him. So you've got to first delve into what is the type of relationship you've got. You know, where, where do you want to go? Where are those boundaries? And where are those boundaries that are set? Where are those boundaries that are a little bit more fluid? Where are those boundaries that... Done. And also you have to delve into boundaries in regards to uh, whether it's healthy or unhealthy. And then if they're unhealthy, are you too open with your boundaries or are you too over boundaried? So is it a case of with your boundaries, are they too open or is it a case of too boundaried. That's over boundaried. See, this is the thing. Not easy, is it? Lots of questions to ask. Lots of questions to have and conversations to have with your partner. It's a big thing is communication. To explore sexuality within a monogamous relationship is communication. Communication, communication, communication. Cannot say that enough. And here's the thing. You've got to know how to communicate with each other. I personally uh, would recommend The Queen's Code by Alison Armstrong to any women out there watching this video in regards to how to communicate with her man. And if you're a man watching this video, get that book and give it to your woman. But uh, <laughs> No, but seriously, seriously, that book changed me. Changed my life and all the ways I communicate with men in any capacity in my life. Intimate, friendships, whatever capacity, I now get it. I really get it. As a woman, how to communicate with the men. Because men are men and they are a way, certain way. Because there's certain things biologically with our brains and all that, certain things that men are going to be men. And women are going to be women. And certain things we do um, in our relationships, yeah. So first you have to work on the communication. Always work on the communication. So women, please get that book, Queen's Code by Alison Armstrong. If you can't read it, because there's some women that have gotten back to me and gone, I don't like her style of writing, totally okay. Then she's got online courses and all that sort of stuff. But hugely, this lady, she knows her stuff. She knows how women need to communicate with men, and it works. It fucking works, okay? So do it. Second thing, men need to be men. Men need to also do their own journey and their own development in regards to this. And the biggest thing that men can do is something called conscious listening. Not active listening. Because that's one thing, that's the one thing, but what's called conscious listening. And this is where a man really listens and holds space for the woman 
doesn't go into fix it mode. I know it's going to be hard. <laughs> A lot of men want to go into fix it mode. They only want to, that's who they are. Beautiful, beautiful men. They want to help. They want to find solutions. They want to fix. But they can be in that conscious space and be in total awareness and total surrender to what's happening and in that space and hold that space, especially coming from a place of love for that woman. Not want to fix it. <laughs> and just say, I hear you, I see you, I love you. And basically make that woman feel so loved for her vulnerability. So of all her faults and foibles and all the good stuff and the bad stuff and everything in between, she feels loved and seen and held and safe. Biggest thing for men to do for women. So yeah, lots of stuff to work with there before you even get to the sex. Oh my God. So yeah, how to work with sexuality in a monogamous relationship? You gotta start with these basics. You gotta have this set and this is what I mean by me, even though I'm a serial uh, solo polyamorous, I do these basics in my first relationship and I'm doing these basics in my second relationship. I always make sure I have solid friendship base sort of thing with these men that I'm with that I can literally be me and I can tell them who I am and what I'm about and they can accept me for me. And they do. They do. And I accept them for them. And hence the reason why I have two of them. <laughs> because, you know, no one can fulfill, for me, I just don't believe no one person can fulfill all my needs. And I just don't, I just personally, I don't like to put pressure on people like that. I just don't feel the need to put that sort of pressure on someone. And lastly, also convenience. There's a little convenient factor there that, hey, if one's not available, the other one will be here. <laughs> And if neither of them are available, I'm always available for myself. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so nonetheless, um, I hope you've got something out of this video. I am going to continue this conversation uh, in the next video. So this is kind of part one of many, part one of a many part conversation. And I'll see you in the next video about talking about sexuality within a monogamous relationship. Okay, so we're now, because we started with communication, Men being men, women being women, how to communicate with each other, how to form that bond in that way and make sure you've got that real solid foundation so then we can now start looking into sexuality. And I kind of touched on it before about, you know, are you, are you truly monogamous or is it what sort of love relationship are you going to have? Well, we're going to look into that, okay? I'm going to actually tell you about all the different sorts of love relationships you can have. And um, also how... You can explore all that within a monogamous relationship. Use it, use the fantasy as such. All right. I'll talk to you soon, hopefully. If you have any questions, any comments, post them below. Like, subscribe, share, all that business. And, of course, you can always contact me. All my social media, uh, Pet Love Biz is generally how you'll find me, actually. Pet Love Biz. Search for that Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all the uh, Periscope, Twitter. I'm across all the socials, pet, love, biz. Okay. So, and that's the way you get in contact with me. And if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, because I only work with people as individuals, even if you come to me as a couple, I will definitely say I would rather work with you guys as individuals. Because here's the thing. you When you come to me as a couple, you are you. And he is him. You are two different people. And you need to be good with yourself so you can be good with each other. Yeah? Got me? Yeah, so that's why I work with individuals. Even if you are as come to me as a couple, I'll still work with you as individuals. So if you would like to work with me, feel free to get in touch with me. I have various programs online, offline here on the Gold Coast. You can visit me, uh, whatever it is. But get in touch with me. And we'll see how we can work together if you feel drawn to Unless I'll talk soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love you all. Mwah.